Since being with Emily, Emily's controlled a lot of the money. The easiest way for me to control the money is by having the only bank card. I'm the only one that can withdraw money. Get me money. She generally gives me uh, between uh, one pound, one pound fifty days. Like being back at school, you know, I get a bit of spend. Yeah, I'll see you later. He's done stupid things, you know, like just go to eBay and buy, you know, a five hundred pound camper van just for the hell of it. I think if you give him twelve thousand pounds, he'll spend every last penny. It's been a week, and Paul spent the best part of seven grand. Can I have a chicken jar for easy, please, mate? When Emily left, she gave him access to their joint account. Nice out of order. It was. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I'll give you my card. I've been allowed my card back. She knows I'm like. I mean, I've just spent 30 quid on a meal out. What we could have spent a tenner having uh, a takeaway instead, but no, I'm sure she understands. <laughs> Emily understands all right, and she isn't about to let Paul fritter their money away. Since I left him, I think he's spent about... Oh, well, it's well over 200 now. It just keeps increasing. Every time I check, there's more money gone. So, um, I've got £100 out, and then there's, like... There's about 50 left for him. He'll have a nice shock now when he goes to try and withdraw some of the money. Usually regretting giving him my pin number. Um, I'm not impressed, I have to say. I thought he would be a bit better behaved. My confidence in Paul is definitely going down. If we can't even control our own bank account, I don't really know what he's doing with 12 grand because he's spent a small fortune of our money. So uh, if he's got 12 grand to spend, I bet he's like wasted most of it very quickly. I'm looking at booking a chocolate fountain. 350 for 80 people. Brilliant. And he's certainly putting his own stamp on all the extras. Just to confirm, the hog roast will be going out in the evening, so it'll be about nine o'clock. If we could do it, I'd like to head on, and I don't know if you actually put the, the apple in the mouths or not, you know, like they used to in the olden days sort of thing. Ah, uh, brilliant. So that's, that was 6.20, wasn't it, for everything? Hey, is that Tansy? So obviously we've got the DJ in karaoke. Um, just to confirm what James will be doing on the day, does he have a set routine or unicycling, you say? and fire juggling, brilliant. So that's uh, 800 pound, that's for the DJ, uh, James, and also the harpist, and the karaoke, brilliant. With time and money both running out, Paul belatedly consults his budget. At the moment, I've got between 800 to 1,000 pound left, I think. It's quite a lot to do, to be honest, photographer, tiara. Time for a few sums, then. Venue. 5,700. Wedding dress, 550. Bridesmaids dresses, 475. Suit hire, 420. Flowers, 500. Rings, 57309. Cars, 345. Cake, 290. The hair and nails, 268. Chocolate fountain, 350. Magazines, 20. Makeup, 40. And registrar, 250. The harpist, DJ, and the James Jester. That was 800, wasn't it? Uh, hog roast, 620. Ah, I'm put the new coach, coach hired figure down. Um, yeah, the totals now, um, 11,935. So basically, I've, I've got 65 quid left. Um, and that isn't including the hand do stag do. I am disappointed. Uh, I've let myself down in a way. Um, you know, I've tried to keep, you know, I knew roughly what I wanted to spend on everything, and I knew that I had to make, uh, make savings, which I thought I'd done the savings. Across town, Emily's almost ready for her hen night, an evening meant to be covered by the wedding budget. Mum is going out, you're not used to it. <laughs> yeah, obviously tonight, the, the girls are on the hen do, so they'll be leaving fairly shortly, to be honest. I've got to try and find 150 quid from somewhere. Well, 100 and about 175 quid from somewhere. Emily's mum and dad would give me money if I needed to, but they've done a hell of a lot for me and Emily in the past anyway. They've given us a lot of money, uh, to be fair. They, they're the ones who give us a deposit for our house. Uh, I don't want to go back to them because I will have failed in a way as well. Um, so I'm not going to go back to them and ask for money. I'm going to have to go back to Emily's mum and dad's, uh, which I really didn't want to do. 
You all right? You look nice. It's been a bit of bad news. Uh, budget has more or less come to an end. I just want to see if I can borrow a bit of money off you. Yeah. How much is a bit? 200. 200 the, I could probably do. Basically, it's 125 for a cocktail. Uh, £50 for Emily's budget. I'm hoping, that obviously, because it's a hen night, that everyone's going to be buying her drinks anyway, so she won't really spend that. OK, well, I'll go and find a cash point. What's a cash All point? All right, thanks a lot. Fran's happy to help out, but is this the right moment to share the news with her daughter? Guess if I had to go and see Paul. Give me three guesses. I don't know. Money. Money. <laughs> really? It doesn't really surprise me that Paul has run out of money. I don't know. <laughs> I'm furious, really. I just want to go and get drunk. <laughs> <laughs> the following morning, she's still fuming over Paul's bad financial planning. I knew he'd asked my mum for some money. I knew at some point he'd come begging for something. Paul's very good at spending money and borrowing money, but not very good at paying it back. And I have a feeling that once this wedding's over, there's going to be quite a lot of sorting out, and I think I'll end up having to do that. So I'm not best pleased about that. If it was up to Emily, photos would be a priority. The wedding's really important because I think it's the first time we'll actually have some proper photos of the pair of us. I want to look at wedding photos and just think, oh, I like the photos and not have issues with them. Everyone gets a photographer for the wedding, surely he'll get a photographer. Oh no, he hasn't. And with three days to go and the budget spent, there won't be a photographer unless Paul claws back money from somewhere else. We're just on the way up now to the castle to meet Mr Naylor to basically find out whether whether it's too late to cancel any of the hotel rooms. Obviously, I need to cancel as many as I can, really, just so I can free up some money to get a photographer. You know, I was trying to be nice for everyone, and to be honest, it's, it's kind of come back to bite me in the ass. If he says no and I can't cancel the room, then I'm going to be devastated. Um, I really want to get the uh, photographer. You know, I really badly want to get a photographer. Um, I'm not going to be able to do it. Paul spent over a thousand pounds on bedrooms for his friends and family. He needs that money back. There's been one little problem that I've got that I need to be honest with you about. Mm -hmm. um, the ten rooms that I've booked, is the only chance of cancelling a couple of the rooms? Um, the difficulty there, Paul, is that our booking policy right. is that any rooms within two weeks are chargeable. I'm yeah. afraid we're going to have to stick with that. All right, oh, okay. Thank you for that. With a no from Mr. Naylor, no money left in his wedding budget, and no funds of his own, Paul is left with no photographer. Obviously, I'm very, very good, and I need to figure out what I'm going to do now. There is one place he's not drawn any cash from yet his mum. So, what have you got left to do then, Paul? Well, basically, um, I've run out of money now. Oh, all money. God. But I haven't looked. Managed to get a photographer yet. Um, so what will have to happen there? Will you have to use your own money or? We've got none. Didn't you say you wanted to give me money for the wedding? Yeah. 200. Are you sure? Yeah. I still need to find 300 quid. Well, yeah. I'll lend you 300 as well. Are you sure? Can I have yes. some friends, Kate? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I want a group photo. £500 and a free haircut later, Paul needs to book a very, very last-minute photographer. It's this Thursday.